I was making $5 million a year, paying taxes. So I started doing something that put me in direct violation of the federal statute. I started taking a rake, meaning a percentage of each pot, doing what Vegas did. And I had attorneys that told me, don't do this, don't take a rake. Because then you're setting yourself up as... Now a, you're breaking the law. As a kind of a casino. Right. Okay, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. We have politicians, we have huge Wall Street figures, yeah. and A-list celebrities all playing in these now illegal poker games, and it's all connected. The, the mobsters, the every with me. So, obviously I got in trouble. <laughs> obviously uh, the feds, um, you know, sort of entered into the scene, and the way that that happened was my credit card gets declined, which doesn't happen. And I logged into my accounts. The feds had taken everything. My attorneys called them and they said, we believe on good authority that she's been making her money illegally. And if she wants to go on record and tell us about her job, her, you know, the people, then we'll talk about giving her money back. Well, obviously, I didn't want to do that. But, but there was no, there's no legal after effects. There is this law, there is this institution in, in the United States. It's called um, asset forfeiture. Mm -hmm. You are presumed innocent. Your person is presumed innocent. Your property is not. So they can just take it. How much money do, are we saying goodbye to? Mm, all in, like, seven million. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, we have a very casual reaction to that as a... As a... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's a very well-to-do crowd. <laughs> I've lost out of the Galway races. 